Hello everyone, my name is Terry Prism and welcome back to Stories The Path of Destinies. So far we rescued Lapino and uh, got the uh, core of the uh, Sky Ripper. Let's uh, see what uh, it is uh, capable of doing. Lapino was a touchy rabbit. Renato knew that. You're brave, I know, Renato said. But this is what I was hired to do. At least let me run ahead and warn the scientists you're coming. So, Lapino was intent on being a hero. Just like him. War made sensible men mm. crazy for glory. And Lapino had never been <laughs> sensible. But what was the harm? Yeah. Lapino might well trip over no a harm done. nest of ravens. But that was better than ravens lying in ambush, wasn't it? They finished the trip to the Nexus in silence. Renato had no sooner rescued his friend than he was putting him back in danger. All right, he finally said as they landed. Go. And we are back at the Nexus then. As Roman Renato Bates. watched Lapino vanish on the horizon, he could feel nausea building in him. He felt ill. Could his knees really be aching this much? But no, how it's could he uh, have the core off to Lapino? That was a recipe for disaster. And it would have affected Lapino too, I assume. Okay, that's not the way. Time to head back up then. He wished there were more pylons he could use the hook on. Really needed to construct additional pylons. <laughs> Stupid joke, but still, it made me laugh. And this seems like area for ravens to come once again. Yeah, here they come. Predictable here, really, but... Oh! I need to heal up! I'm getting way too easily hit, and you're going down. If you didn't uh, constantly teleport out of the harm's way. And you fly. Little bit of extra healing from Raiders. There we go. A level up to great. Bernardo felt worse. All his joints were aching now. He'd been through beatings that felt better than this. So the core had a kind of poison that could harm you without yes, even touching it seems. you. Yes, That's new. Well, it had power. The rebellion needed something with power. And how was this any worse than a sword wound? Well, a death by sword was sudden and fair. This was just... squalid. A piecemeal death, like old age. Yeah, and a uh, pain uh, for a whole time. The Nexus Observatory had some of the Empire's greatest scientists. If anyone could rig the core into a useful weapon, and even better, make it stop leaking poison, it so would be true. Going to quickly check out uh, that the uh, house uh, level up in Sealed Breaker game does it. Hmm. Does it increase it? Hmm. Well, not uh, very clearly stated differences there. I guess we'll uh, figure it out sooner or later. Getting a horse up in one of these things. He will be cursed oh. with new streak. And... Uh, 
expecting other side now. And time to activate this one. The clock is great by one activation. And other side now. Once again, got hit uh, straight by them. Out of the way. Ravens. This is going well now. Oh, you're still alive. I thought you already died. Just getting hit too easily here. And off you go. I danced around the room. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's how we do it. It was something he liked to do, mm -hmm. but only after he'd killed all the witnesses. I need some healing from here. Nothing. Oh. We should uh, soon be at the observatory. Oh! That's not good. That's not supposed to be on fire. What happened? Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. The burning hulk. Dead scientists everywhere. Bernardo found the mad rabbit cowering under a desk. The ravens. They must have known we were coming. Said Lapino. That's not good. How did you... Well, you see, I was doing a card trick with my lucky deck, and I kind of bobbled the card, so I went under the desk to gather them up, and boom! I guess we'll have to take the car straight to the secret base. The yeah, it looks like it. rebel base. Yes. Mm. They had engineers there. But wait. Calaveras, the sage in the Maybe... mountains. Maybe he would know what to do with the naked core. I think uh, I actually... I'd rather go after Calaveras here. Because uh, I really want to know what that core does. Because uh, last time I could have uh, discovered that I didn't. So let's uh, head to, to the high stage. The scientists on the Nexus were all dead and with them gone, so was the plan to turn the core into a super weapon. But there was one more scientist. Calabras was the expert of the Skyripper, but he, did he have uh, the necessary equipment alone out there in the mountains? Maybe not, but we find that the information. Killing him. He needed help. And that too. The sage Calaveras had given him the maps to find the armature and the core. If anyone knew the true name of the Transcendent Emperor, if anyone knew how to assemble the Skyripper, Calaveras did. If anyone could heal Renardo and render the core safe, at least to its bearer, surely it was he. Yes. Going to be a little bit selfish here. The base of the time. mountain was the only safe place for a landing. You would have to continue on foot, muscles aching. Calaveras was a scholar, Take a chance not a doctor. On me. Could he really save Renardo from the poison radiating from the lost god's eye he was so recklessly carrying? Hopefully, yes. Come on. There we go. It was a little bit too far. His hook didn't break. I doubt oh, it will. This was not a fun way to die. Even if he survived, no one would write ballads about the fox whose knees ache forever, would they? 
<laughs> Not unless he paid for it. And he hated paying for publicity. Sometimes heroes life is like that. And only afterwards uh, those stories become uh, interesting. That went really well. Time it was chilling walking through the living mountains. There was always noise up ahead. Insects, birds, the croak and flutter of ravens arranging <laughs> ambushes. But close by, there was only the breeze and the trickle of melting snow. As if every living thing was holding its breath for his poisonous burden to move on. Very likely that's uh, what's happening here. Down you go. Switching it from swords. Nice frozen finish there. There's something over here. Going to check it. Apparently doorway to leading it somewhere. Where it leads. There must be a treasure chest that they should... Yes, there it is. Corpse is made him a little nervous. Like a slide whose other end you couldn't see. So true. Anyway, let's just come. Oh, more raiders again. go and where do we go now over here well maybe not but there is a treasure chest here back here I guess uh, this way and up up we go and another leaf time Renato wondered what would happen if he jumped. Would he be rescued by an emergency platform? I hope so. <laughs> but uh, I doubt that uh, is actually what would happen. Um, Alright. We can uh, now get to that uh, doorway here. Could uh, just move over there. Finally. Or I could go that way. He thought. <laughs> Let's see where this leads. Am I losing health uh, constantly because of this poison? Looks like I am. So I better hurry up then. Scroll. Let's check it out quickly. Dear Zenopia, do you remember that expedition I have sent to the depths beneath the islands? They have returned. Well, three ships have returned out of the eight I sent. Of course, I mourn the losses, but the knowledge the survivors brought back is invaluable. What they have experienced is incredible. They gradually grows denser and more turbulent until it becomes a suffocating bone crushing thunderstorm thunderstorm but the islands the islands keep stretching for miles below the surface and they have roots that radiates downward far beyond sight 
the islands are alive, this is the proof of I was looking for. The thick air of the depths uh, keeps them afloat, and in the depths uh, they find their sustenance. Do they have a conscience? Are they aware of our existence, or are we merely parasites uh, that they ignore or tolerate? I must prepare another expedition. This time I will go myself. I need to see this wondrous world of the endless deep sky. I hope you will visit me before I leave. I would like to hear more about uh, that new re friend of yours, Reynardo. With love, Father. And that uh, sounds the point where he started to became what mad. What is the point of this gate? Did they think no one would notice the new one? Point is uh, to reach this uh, area here. Oh! This... This fight will be quite interesting and I need to fix out my healing sword too slow. Well, let's try that again. I'm uh, going to need this one here. Well, ravens are out. That's kind of disappointing. I wish uh, that we had, an had another chance at that fight. But this luckily we got some help. More than sparkly. It had arcane power. <laughs> and an engraving. To Cindy. Any games there? No. Not games, but apples frozen in those crystals. Doesn't really look like it. Manakvi. And there close it again. Something useful in these things, didn't there? Time there we go. Out for the rebellion. Oh no, they no, might no. already be fighting the Imperial fleet. Everything in and Calaveras's ability to turn an exiled god's eye into something deadly. Hopefully. We are almost at the top, if I remember correctly this map. Ah, level up. Let's get the... Um, well, we need to unlock uh, this one here. There we go. I'm no rookie. Hello, Calaveras. <laughs> the core! Splendid! Crote Calaveras. Where's the armature? Right, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't need it. Yes. <laughs> no, I don't. It's just a professional interest. We've got much better prismatics than the old TE ever did. So Calaveras was an arcane engineer. He fussed at the core all day. He wrapped it with silver chains, and in front of it, he placed a huge round ruby so that it looked like a monstrous floating eye. Ah, so, what is it? I call it the Oculum. It's my very first death ray. And Wait, what? <laughs> poison me? Oh, no, no, no. It's completely safe now. Anything I should watch out for? Yeah, to try to avoid pointing at any mirrors. Good As point. As he loaded the Oculum <laughs> onto the Farfarer, Bernardo was a little concerned about Calaveras. People who were utterly sure of themselves he had found were either experts or horribly wrong. Or both. But I think we are going to uh, fire the with Oculum once. This time. He only needed to destroy one ship, the Emperor's ship, and the war was over. Renato plunged into the Imperial fleet. He felt the Oculum humming. He no longer felt sick. This was going to be fun, or at least it was going to be over. And that uh, seems to be surprisingly easy then. Bernardo and we are back the here. to fire the oculum until the time came. He could sense its arcane energies yearning to escape the sage's wrappings. But it wasn't eating him alive. So that was a plus. He felt good about himself. 
He'd saved a friend, he'd helped the rebels, he'd relied on himself, but he'd listened to others. He felt like the right sort of hero. Wise, yet decisive. Calaveras had been so sure it would work. Maybe he could fire it just a few times. No harm in that, right? But only when well, he absolutely needed to. There might be some harm. Use Teoculum on the Maybe Emperor. I should follow my nose, thought Bernardo. And let's uh, check out this uh, place once again. Or please uh, treasure chest. Oh, almost missed that one. And uh, missed that zip, but uh, we are going to jump on this one here. There we go. There we go. And uh, we're at the portal now. Ah, oh, Renardo's arm was getting tired. <laughs> the core was no longer eating at him, but he still felt weak. His stamina was shot, but he had the oculum. When the raven swarmed him, it would sometimes fire its death ray. It seemed to be warming up too, firing more and more often. Maybe we hmm. should let it cool off. Yeah, he decided to stop using it entirely. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, almost didn't see you there. Hey, welcome to Earth. Renato told <laughs> of the corpses. It was something he'd seen in a play once. Oh, there's uh, that uh, popping raven once again. Easy, easy fight there. Oh, they really ought to put a railing on this thing. Let's see if I can um, avoid getting hit by them. That was close. On. Just a little bit closer. We are almost at the Emperor's uh, ship. Oh. Ah, once again we are using this uh, platform here. Get more Ravens. Almost got hit there by that one Raven. Once again. Down you go and you're not hitting me. Up you go. Blocking and uh, down you go. Have a nice flight. There we go. Oh, giving up this time. The oculum was still hot to the touch. He almost thought it was getting even hotter. <laughs> well, that was ridiculous, of course. Anyway. He had only to fire it one more time, and then he could chuck the whole contraption into the abyss. And the Emperor's ship was now in range. Renardo squinted. He could make out the line of ravens protecting the ship. Zenobia in front, conjuring. And on the deck, yes, that was his Imperial Majesty, pacing in his golden armor. So Renardo will we end this, uh, this time or not? And fired. Caught in the beam, the ship burst into flames. The ravens and Zenobia exploded. The Emperor too exploded. Renato waited for the beam to stop. <sighs> but it only got brighter. Oh, wait, and the what? oculum hotter. 
Frantic. Renato pulled the oculum towards the abyss. The ruby burst into flames. The shiny metal casing glowed, then melted. That was good. Now the cork could cool uh, off. Right? I don't Renato think uh, that will happen. The blast incinerated him instantly, along with both fleets. The shockwave could be felt across all Erda. That winter, yeah. there were neither Empire nor rebels to rule them. The island slid Oopsie. into banditry. And so began the second age of darkness. Well, but he we doomed our world. Another true then. thing. The core was powerful, but dangerous if used improperly. New story completed. Story 18. The fox whose knees hurt. What kind of hero are you? A hero who seeks balance, who makes wise yet decisive decisions. And little bit of water essences. Also discovered a new truth. The Sky Reaper core is unstable. Tier 4 skills unlocked. Good. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, storyline. I... I kind of liked it, but uh, I I just I just wish uh, that there would have uh, been a little bit more of Lapinos there. In any case, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you on next uh, one. Goodbye.